Welcome back to Battle of the Sexes. We had technical difficulties with the stream, our second string. Amanda Carroll upset by Bob Heap, 119, 117. She had a tough 4 2 split, got a 5 box. Bob Heap was brilliant, wins it 119, 117. Down the stretch, he got a spare to win it. Alicia Kelly had a double strike and three in the string, almost four. She had a 138, 103 win over Brian Hebert the second. So she split her first two strings. Amanda had a 146, her first string. She's one and one. It's 10 strings, one string against each person, man against woman. It's our third string about to start now. Paul Grant, Greg Gouillard on Candle Promoting Network. Half a point for a tie. The top three men, top three women, will team up in the end for a, sing, for a uh, team match for the Battle of the Sexes, second annual version. Red Portsmouth Ballarama, Portsmouth, New Hampshire, live. And Greg, I know it's been challenging with the stream sometimes. That's their frustration with live streaming, but hey, I want to get to you now. So thanks for your patience and your great support as always. And Faye Sawyer's doubles partner for the women's doubles event last September rolled really well. Sue Holleran on lane 16 out of Lakeside Lanes. will lead off on lane 16 and Sonia Johnson, daughter of Mario Johnson on lane 15. Sonia Johnson, one oh six average right now. From Seabrook, New Hampshire. Sue Holleran two, Sonia five. Sue is open with the one and the two. Sonia missed everything. Sue and eight. One string match. Sue from Nash, New Hampshire. Sue's a 107 league bowler, 115 career high for a season. Sonia Johnson is six. So Song is up against Will Damon, and Sue is up against AJ Stockton. a six box. The scoreboard had nine for her. They corrected that. Sue and Renee, Sonia Renee, they call her. Sonia Johnson. Both open. Second box. Third string. Nice alpha. Sue a nine. 17 through two. Sonia Johnson a 10. 19 through two. A correction. That should be 16 through two. They're still fixing that scoreboard on the lanes here. Greg has to write in the school by Greg. Thanks for doing the uh, technology. Uh, we'd never be on the air if I was doing it. <laughs> a great, great show. I know it's hard sometimes with the streaming cutting in and out. 3 2 split for Sue. Tough split for Sonia. 4 7, 5 10. Sue so trying to grab at least three here. Got two. Sonia got the five only, 4-7-10. Sue's high single, 176, high triple, 439. Out of Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire. Tim Lipke's house. She'll get a seven. It has nice shot, sweeping 10. For Sonia Johnson, 24 through three. Sue, 24 through three. Sue bowling for over 40 years. This is 2.7 Scorpio. Scorpion Pro Rubber Bowling Balls. Brother was working at the lanes when she was young and joined the league when she was a junior. She bowled on Stars and Strikes TV show in the past. Joyce reading and crochet. I guess Sonia got an eight and two apparently. Sonia Johnson, 111 career high for a series. For season, high single 174, does not know her high triple. Her high five is 649. In a kids league, she threw over 1400 in a 10 string event once upon a time. 
Three and a first ball. Five, seven, ten for Sue. Got the seven. Sonia got the head pin. Leads up the hay bale, the bundle of five. Sonia, a seven. Tough start, 31 through four. Sue, nine, 33 through four. Both looking for a mark. Sonia won the Ladies International with her mother, Mario. She won the 2021 US Invitational with Brian Fuller Jr. and her mother. She's looking at the two, three, six, ten, wood to help. A post correction of hay bale plus the 10 for Sue Holleran. Good try by Sonia. She's open. So both open to start their third string. One string matchups. Every man bowls every woman once. And a follow, following a three on three finals. Team competition. Seven for Sue, just a 40 half. A nine for Sonia, also a 40 half. Let's bring in Greg Guya. Greg, welcome. Thank you very much. Again, apologies for the tech issues earlier. And now we're looking at Will Damon and AJ Stockton, left and right, respectively. Where are the guys? AJ Stockton from Lynn, Massachusetts. 110 average, nice ball, eight, nine, almost a strike. Seven pin left up. Here's Will Damon, don't call me Jeff Lapierre. One, three, seven, eight, three pieces of wood. Yep, after this string, we'll get the totals from Bob Ballard at the standings. Spare for AJ to start. Hi, Bowling World. Hit. Damon Hello. is open, here's Bob Ballard. Bob, welcome. Thanks for doing the uh, Battle of the Sexes second annual. Yes. I know it's always a challenge. It is very much a challenge. So we, we got it going on. We got two strings in. We're going to get a third string going here. So we're going to get it done today. So um, thank everybody for watching. Um, I'll have a chat with everybody at the end. Well, Damon and nine. AJ on a bonus on lane 16. Hooks it right, just four, 14 through one. Not happy with that shot. Damon fires it right, a quarter whistle, yikes. He had double strike and a third strike in that first string. A 131-124 win over Blanca Chano came storming back, just fell short by seven. Stockton, one, two, five. Damon open with the one six ten. AJ at nine, 23 through three, through two rather, through two. Damon eight, 17 through two. Now third box. AJ against Sue Holleran, 40 half. Will Damon up against a 40 half from Sonya Johnson. Well, Damon works for Damon Distributors by Pete's Coffee in Maine. Help out, help them out. All you Maine fans out there. Stockton goes right, steals a bunch. One, wobbling two, seven, ten. Crossing over, Damon, nine. Wiggling nine, pinned wood to help. Great chance for a spare. Stockton, good shot, spare, wow! Beautiful shot. 33 in the ball through three in string number three of 10. Damn, missed it. Hit the wood and it spun right around. He wants a redo on that one. And that's a tough Paul Grant special. Missed the second, make the third, a 10. 29 through three. Strange way for the wood to take it, but it did. Oh, 
Uh, Greg, some play-by-play play for a couple of boxes here. Don't mind if I do. Damon starts off. He's got two pins to begin. Stockton about to fill a second mark. Oops. Stockton spare fill is six. Six on that, spare try again. The wood goes across the eight pin and takes it. Back to back. To lay a game spare, game a good try. Stockton 39 through three, 49 the ball through four here in the third. One string match. Damon, a 10, 39 through four. Back to back, make that three tens in a row, a nine and three tens, solid pinning. Will from Windham, Maine, originally Lisbon Falls, Maine. 111 league bowler, high for year 119. High single 198, high triple 456, high five 720. Breaks up the eagle, two left, three, six, 10 right. Stockton four in the spare, 53 through four. Second 14 bucks, but the spares are coming, so three spares to none is gonna create an advantage right off the bat. Off the wall, can't go. Ends up with a 3-5-6 triangle. Damon's open, 3-6-10. Eight. 60, make that eight box, that's a 61 half. 21 pin lead over Sue Holleran. Will Damon is seven. 46 through five. So 46 for Damon, that's a seven, not a 10. The scoreboard's off. We'll fix that on our end. So he's up six on Sonya Johnson. Sue Holler and good bid there on the banana split. Nice bid by Sonya Johnson, 9-10. Sue so needs a big half. Three marks behind. Eight. Out of the gutter, 48 through six, eight for Sonya, ditto. We're in the third string of 10 on Kenneth Molinevic, Paul Grant, Greg Guya, Portsmouth, New Hampshire, Bolarama. Second annual Battle of the Sexes, hosted by Bob Allard. Has a good ball by Sue, chance here with a 3-6-10. Sonia, 1 3 spare leaf. Sue missed the spare. Sonia gets it. 58 and the ball through seven. Sue Holleran, nine. Open string so far, just 57 through seven. Should need to mark out to have a chance. Against A.J. Stockton, who had a 61 half. Eighth box, third string. Just three. Sonia Spitfield is six. One, three, seven, nine. 64 through seven. She needs a mark, won't get it there. Probably gonna need a double now. One, five, seven, ten. Sonia, three in the seven. Beautiful shot, nice out, 10. Awesome shot for Sue Holleran, 67 through eight. Renee, Sonia Renee Johnson. It's a 10, so she's 74 through eight.
Sue is open. Sonia open also. Oh, nice out, 10. Okay, it was nine the last box, my mistake. Some scoreboard problems at the alley here, so we'll get that fixed now. Scoreboard's correcting your screen. So who's gonna drop this string more than likely to AJ. Sonia now 90, uh, 83 through nine. Needs a mark for the century mark. Open string for Sue. It's big spare for Sonia. 93 to ball in the 10th. That's huge. Yeah, that first spare looked like the pins were starting to get away in support of that, but now with a second mark, Sonia more decidedly in front and is going to force Damon to mark, presuming good count. Sue and eight, disappointing string for her by her standards, 84. AJ Stockton already has 61. Sonia's bonus seven, even 100, third string. So that'll force Will Damon to get a mark. He'll need 55 to win. 10 men, 10 women, bowl each other once, 10 strings for the right for the finals, three on three match. A.J. Stark and Red Hot. Three spares in that first half. Hooks it right, got the pocket, crossing over. That's an Eric Bromberg Sun special there. The Broomy. Some call it the Hay Bale, some call it the Star Line Five. An open shot. Will Damon, one, two, seven, eight. Nice shot, Jess, miss. Not by much, the head pin. He needs one mark to win the string. AJ a seven, 68 through six. Damon a 10, 56 through six. So Damon's down, is up eight on Sonya right now, but she did get a spare in the 10th with seven on it. So he needs 45 in four boxes. AJ just needs 17 in four to win. Not a bad leave, the one and the three. Damon crossing over for strike nine. Kingpin left up the five, high piece of wood. That's Wood to the left to use also if he needs to. Wood's rolling back. AJ for spare. Yes. 78 in the ball through seven. Spare for Damon. 66 in the ball through seven. Needs a. Stockton is just continuing to have a good string. Meanwhile, Damon just got a critical spare there. Any good count and any can pin it out from here. He's only left four pins standing. He could do it this way. Needs at least five on the fill and tens the rest of the way to win the string. Stockton hooks it. Half Worcester, two in the fill. 80 through seven. Damon, tough break. Oh, got a break on the left. Looked like a 4-2 split, a generous hit. Six. That could be a difference in the string. 72 through seven. Three, six, ten, the nine behind the three. Wood to help. Stockton in the hole. Haven't won yet. For a spare. Yes, that should do it. More than likely. Pending the fill. Pending the fill. Stranger things have happened. Strike would be instant gratification. 82 to ball through eight. Stockton, tough half Worcester again. A four. 84 now through eight, just needs one pin in two boxes. What are the odds of, what are the odds of a tie here? Uh, no comments. <laughs> Will Damon needs 19, including this fill. 82 in a ball through eight. 
to get two, get one point. Should they tie it to half a point? Stockton wins the string in nine. Damon on the bonus. Seven. Good shape now. 89 through eight. Trying for three in a row. Three, five, and the nine. Stockton for spare. Missed it right. Didn't need it. Dame for three in a row. Missed it. Left. Great shape to win the string. Stockton, nine. 93 through nine. Damon doinks it for nine. 98 through nine. He needs three pins to defeat Sonya Johnson. Who had a spare seven in the 10th. But a 40 half was the difference. Stockton. High low jack, the Augusta Maine, 1710 Mark Carrier special. And there's the win for Will Damon. Edges out, Sonya Johnson. Low scoring string. Center triangle plus the seven for Damon. Stockton, good effort as a 7-10 goal post. Cracking the century mark. Damon can't get the seven to go. They both have won their string. AJ field goal for an eight, 101, third string. Defeating Sue Holleran, 101, 84. That's no good, a nine. 97 for Will Damon. Defeats Sonya Johnson, 107 to 100. Three strings down, seven to go before the exciting three on three team final. Battle of the Sexes, Olorama, Portsmouth, New Hampshire, on Candle Bowling Network. So just a reminder for anyone who didn't tune into the last effort at the stream, though we have 10 men and 10 women today here at Bolarama, Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Every man bowls every woman and vice versa in 10 one-string matches. And we're looking for the top three men and top three women in wins, tie broken by total pinfall, tie broken by high single, to advance to a final one-string three-on-three team match. And the winner of that match will win first place prize and the members of the runner-up team will also cash as well. We'll start a fourth string momentarily to keep it alive. Our next match, string four, will feature Blanca Gachana. We saw her in the first string. She was brilliant, 124, almost pulled it out. Will Damon won at 131. 124. She'll be taking on Keith Beaupre, the Tsunami. That'll be on lane 15. On lane 16, we'll feature Michael Kane. I bowled with him in Kenilpin Lanes in Salem, Mass. Growing up, in the Chamber of Commerce League on Monday nights, he'll be taking on Mario Johnson, who was the runner-up to Amanda Carroll in last weekend's Kenilpin's of Cancer Show. You can watch it on Camp Mole Network at the, the Big 20. Jug, the ladder juggernaut, that's right. Five all the way to the finals. And speaking of Candlepins of Cancer, next qualifying round is this Tuesday. Need some more bowls to sign up, please. Register Candlepins number four, cancer.com. Riverwalk Lanes, Ainsbury, Mass., downtown Ainsbury. Tuesday, January 26th, 11 a.m. Thursday, January 28th, 11 a.m. Saturday, January... That's the 24th and 26th, Tuesday, Thursday, 11 a.m. Saturday, January 28th, 11 a.m., 2 p.m. Sunday, special time, January 29th, 1 p.m. and 4 p.m. $80 entry fee per shift, unlimited entries allowed. Register, please. Candlepins number four, cancer.com. Candlepins four, cancer.com. If you can't bowl, please donate to the charity to help bowlers, helping bowlers suffering from cancer treatments. Candlepins number four, cancer.com. Top five, scheduled for Bowlerama, March 12th. Stream, all matches streaming on Candlepin Bowling Network. So Tuesday, Thursday, this week, Saturday and Sunday, Candlepins number four, cancer.com. Candlepins number four, cancer.com. Paul Grant, Greg Guya with you live, Ports Bowl Rama. The ladies will go first. Blanca Gachana against Keith Bopre in 15. Females first, game four. 
Actually, ladies will go first. Yep, and then on the right, Mario Johnson against Michael Kane. Interesting matchup here. Second annual Battle of the Sexes. Last year's winners by seven pins. Aaron St. Cyr, who can't bowl because he's injured. Jason Sparks, who's here today, and Jeff Lapierre. Jeff Lapierre, Amanda Carroll, the captains. Amanda's team in the finals last year. She had the highest single in the finals of 146. Today she had a 146 at first. Lost her second, 119-117 to Bob Heap. We'll see her in the fifth string today. After this string. So she'll be bowling Jewett. She'll be bowling Vinny. Next string, Amanda Carroll after this match. And we'll also have, let me see what we have here. We'll have Michael Kane, back-to-back -back strings. They'll be taking on Glennis McKinley, who's also in the top five Kane Offensive Cancer show last weekend. All right, fourth of 10 underway. Mario Johnson on lane 16 has five. Block of six. Mario's open with four to go. Block of the one, seven, eight, nine. Two pieces of wood side by side. Missed it. Mario, eight. Blanca Gachana, beautiful ball, nine. Not a bad out. Blanca from East Boston, Massachusetts. 102 league bowler, 105 Sunday Pro League. High single 172, high triple 371, high five 582. Made television appearance in her 20s. Mario Johnson spread eagle plus the nine. Blanker goes right, has the one, two, eight, and ten. Three pieces of wood. Blanca won outrun the bear, the brother Luka Chana. The year before, they came in second place. One of the best tournaments around, hosted by Danny Finn and Ryan Finley Misses, Millis Mass. Spare bid falls short by one. She has the eight. And Mario in the hole with the ball to go. Chops out two for a tough five, 13 through two. Blanca, a 10, 19 through two. Blanca against Keith Bopre, the tsunami. Mario Johnson against Michael Kane. Mario had been hit. Five right, four, seven left, some wood to work with. Blanker, spread eagle. Mario for spare. Got it! Needed that one after eight and a five. 23 and a ball through three in the fourth of 10. Blank is open. Three in the right, two, four, seven, left. Good pinning a nine, 28 through three. Mario, good ball, steals nine. 32 through three. Take it, try to take advantage of the gift. Blanca has some work to do here, but it's got some wood surrounding the one, five, eight, nine. For two in a row, missed it. How many times you see the head pin missed? Nine go down, you missed the second shot. Blanca, beautiful ball, spare. 38 the ball through four. Smooth, steady ball. And that's the Paul Grant special. Missed the second, make the third for Mario. 42 through four in the fourth. Mario, 111 league bowler out of extra lanes. 45 years old, a reset as the pin falls down. Mario's high single, 192. High triple, 439. High five, 701. High 10 of 1301. 
1997 Rookie of the Year. One of my favorite moments is winning the Ladies International Tournament with her daughter, Sonia Johnson, who's here today, 2016. Sonia's 18 at the time. Nice ball strike. What a shot. 52 up plus two. That would have been a great fill. Blanca drills nine on the spare. 47 through four. Blanca, another one, missed it. Wood almost got it back, tapped it, holds up. We've seen a number of double strikes, in fact. Has it been one every single match, or it was one in the first two, certainly? Yeah, one in the first two. Blanca, Paul Grant special, missed the second, make the third, a 10. Missed opportunity, 57 half. She's up against the Tsunami, Keith Beaupre in the red shirt on lane 15. And he has veteran Michael Kane on lane 16. Against Mario Johnson's 52 half. He'll get a strike on the delay. How about that start? The veteran bowler, 10 plus two. Keith Beaupre, the one, three, seven, eight, two pieces of wood. That red shirt, of course, was from Beaupre's, I believe, final runner-up appearance on classic candle pins. Missed the object pin there. Gets a nine. Up against Blanca's 57 half. Michael chasing Mario's 52 half. First ball on the strike, four. Keep Beaupre in the pocket for a strike. He's got it. The tsunami delivers. 19 plus two through two here in the fourth of 10 from Portsmouth. Second ball on the strike, half Worcester, six on the fill. 16 through one for Michael Kane. Early eight pin lead on Mario. Went eight to five to start, but end up with a spare seven. To bounce back. Spare nine, rather. And a 52 half. Look at the one five center Worcester and the four seven. That's the strike that Keith Beaupre needed to get going. Michael, tough six. 20. Two through two. Right now, box to box up nine on Mario Johnson. One string head to head matches. Men against the woman. Final three on three finals to follow. All on Kenneth Mode Network. Kane off to the right has the post. Four horsemen plus the 10. Got two pieces of wood. Keith. Going for a double, nails the pocket, but splits two and one. Six on the right, two, four left. Kane, beautiful shot, couldn't get the seven to go. Beaupre, nice bid, a little thin. Nine in the field, 28 through two. Michael, 10, tie with Mario through three, box to box, 32 apiece. These two tens to tie, both pray at 10. 38 through three up 10, but up against a spare nine from Blanc Nachana. 19 to tie in two boxes. That's right, if Beaupre pins out, he'll be exactly in a one pin match with Blanca, and if Kane pins out, Mario Johnson's strike should see her up with an advantage through five. Michael in the pocket, check mark left. Two, four, seven, five to the right. Beaupre crossing over, another split. This time it's the six, 10, seven left. Michael, 112 league bowler, 119, the season high for a season from Nahant, Massachusetts. One way in, one way out. Off the wall again, can't get the seven to go. Beaupre, nice shot, spare, what a shot. 48 in the ball through four, and string number four. Michael's high single, 183, high triple, 442. He'll get a 10 to keep pace of Mario, tied 42 apiece. Through four. And he keep pace with the strike. Michael just started bowling five stringers the last five years or so. Has a high five of 665. And 
not sure it's high tenths around 1,200. He's only done five of those, 10 stringers. Never bowled a 20 stringer. One, two, four. Both Prey Spearfield is six, another split. One, three, six, seven. 54 through four. Takes the lead. He 31 years old. Michael Kane can't get the four to go this time on the object pin. Beaupre, what a try. Criminy, two good bounce back balls in the respective matches. Neither cooperated. Keith and Lawrence Mass, originally Lynn Mass out of Riverwalk Lanes, Ainsbury Mass. Michael Kane at 10. Him and Mario tie 52 apiece. Beaupre at 10, 64, 57. With Blanca Gachana, Paul Grant, Greg Guya live. Kenneth Up Mowing Network's presentation of the second annual Battle of the Sexes. Here's Greg Guya. Yeah, credit Beaupre. He's only left one pin standing despite two splits, although he got a spare in that fourth one with that tremendous two in one conversion. Then went uh, 6 3 0 in the first to leave the only pin left standing. Blanca only has left two pins standing and just needs to match this mark, and she'll be back in this and give Beaupre something to think about. Johnson's first ball on the strike is five. Now, Blanca's got that head pin to go. Is that a good thing? Depends on how she plays this wood, I suppose. But that vertical piece and that other piece on the left that's not really aimed at the seven is going to be a challenge. Johnson goes right on the second ball and gets a six on the strike fill. Still in the lead by that same six fill. Blanca, two accurate shots, gets nine. Mario is seven. Still as it stands, forcing Kane to mark. Mario, our ladder juggernaut when we were in Scarborough, Maine. Blanca Gacharna gets a good drop, two, four, seven. That's Blanca's chance to get back in this. Three pinners go about 50% of the time. Mario with a great bounce back shot. Half Worcester converted. And Blanca converts as well. Let's see where we stand with that as I multitask the scoreboard. Hello. So pending Blanca's fill, she's right back in this. Mario could go ahead here. That's not bad at all. I believe that's it's five on that, in fact. Eight pin is hiding as well, so 80 through seven. Blanca washes out a bunch and gets seven. What's a... Can she convert? She got the one and two, but the two just tipped to the side and didn't collect the seven. Nope, no, just eight. Mario about a five-time World Team Championship winner, four-time Ladies International Team wins, three-time Ladies World Titles, 2011 ICBA Championship, and won the Massachusetts State Team record of 1869 in 2005. Can-Am title in 2022 and a previous runner-up in the Can-Am. Blanker, a 10, 94 through eight. Mario, an eight, 88 through eight. Back to Greg. Thank you very much. I wonder, apparently that was a 10 in the sixth. Not sure why I'm making a lot of scoring errors. I'm scratching my head a well, bit. The but scoreboard's been acting up too, so sometimes we rely on the scoreboard sometimes too. We're far back sometimes, we're blocked out from the, from the bowler's view. Mm. Oh, that's a good try by Mario against that two and one split, the five, seven, eight. Blanca accurate, but no mark. Johnson gets another 10. Three accurate shots for that 10. 
She'll be very happy with that because her pen margin was a bit tentative, but. A mark, she, a mark will help you, Greg, to put the pressure on Michael Kane. They were tied at the half. Uh, actually, she had the lead at the half after that strike. As it is, Kane only needs one, perhaps. Nope, that wood won't do any good, but Blanca crosses the century mark. Blanca been blowing great, throwing a great ball all day. A tough loss in that first against Will Damon, 131-124. One on one through nine here in the fourth of ten. And it's tough for us to do, but we will look for standings as soon as we have a chance. We'll see how many wins each bowler has, because it's the top three in wins that will go through. And with nine drop from Johnson, she might be well on her way to that. Blanca, great head pin hit as well. That's eight. That wood is perilous there. Just going to have to go at it. Yes, the wood goes. Thank goodness for that. Went out the pin. Blanca gets it as well. And they will go 11, each of them. So Mario with that big pressure mark Paul was mentioning earlier. That's two marks up now, pending good counts here. Blanca could use good count. Mario's been the big stage a lot in the past. What? That four pin was double tapped. That'll be eight. Now Blanca got a four fill, which is 115. Yes, that will force a mark from Beaupre just. Another strong string from Mario, 116, fourth string. So now Keith Beaupre and Michael Kane, respectively. All right, Greg, thank you. Michael Kane down six right now after Mario's strike. Six, Phil. Needs two marks minimum. Two marks minimum. Beautiful ball, nine. Seven pin left up. Seven's been stubborn all match. Keep Opre forced from right, the one, three, six, ten. He's up seven halfway against Blanca. Blanca had a 115, though. So he'll need at least one, maybe two marks. Probably two. For a spare, got it. 74 and a ball through six. Michael Kane picks it up. Tough Paul Grant special, missed the second, make the third. That could be costly. 62 through six, down three. For Mario, two marks down the stretch. He needs 55 and four boxes to win the string, get a point. Half a point for a tie on lane 16. Breaks the triangle, 3-7. Beaupre crossing over, luckily a strike, he gets eight. Very good for Beaupre, now just needs to pin out to cash in for six, another mark. Six in the right, eight in the left, 82 through six. Michael to oh, Metro Bowl, Pewdie Mass, shot. nice shot, it's fair. Three and seven. Needed that one. Make it the last one he missed. 72 to ball through seven. Still has a chance. Beaupre fair. Back to back. So Beaupre just got his insurance policy and pending good count. This will be okay for him. Kane in a much more dramatic position here because with a mark here after four straight tens, only one imperfect frame. He needs good count here and another. Beaupre 92 to ball. Michael Kane needs a big fill. Just four. 76 through seven. Beaupre, head pin again. Wow. Nine. Four pin left up, great piece of wood. That's on a spare too. 101 through seven, he's gonna win. Blanca, another good string, a tough left lo loser again. A 124 and she lost earlier, the first, 115. Michael's short by oh the five. Boy. Beaupre, bang! Three in a row. Four out of five. The dagger. 111 of the ball through eight. He sort of lofted that third ball in the first box, and I was a little worried, but Beaupre is dialed in now. My goodness. Michael Kane. That's 10. A 10. 86 to 8. 30 to tie, 31 to win. How big is that missed single pin in that sixth box? And going to need two marks effectively at this point. 
or a 20 in the 10th, for example. Tough shot here, the force from the nine, the 10. Beaupre, five, six, one, three, nine, and 10. He's won the string. 117 through eight. He's defeated Blanca Chana. Second time in four strings, a tough luck loser. Well, well enough to win, and then some. Michael trying to pull a magic. Nice oh, shot again, the seventh boy. pin stuck up there. All right, critical pin or he's going to need to double strike. He must have this pin to avoid needing two strikes. He needs a 10, a strike, and a spare combination just for a half a point. And that could be the difference in a tiebreaker for the final three on three match after 10 strings. And he's still in it, still in it with a 10. 96 in the ball, down two. But he's up against a 20 box here. Mind you, a double. Uh, in a sense. Mind you, a double strike is still required to win, but 20 would tie it and still right. get half a point. Both pray a nine, 120, 69. So Michael up against an 18 box, essentially needs a 20 box to tie a double to win. And wouldn't that be something? Crossing over, no strike. 4 7, spare chance. Needs to convert. Both pray eight. The tsunami back on track here in the fourth. Five to the right, eight to the left. Two pieces of wood. Tough angle. Make for Kane. Kane needs it. Gets it. 106 in the ball in the 10th. Needs a strike to tie. Bow pray for another one. Got it up the wall. Total pinfall is a tiebreaker. 136 in the ball in the 10th. The tsunami. Fifth string coming up next on Candle Bowling Network. Michael needs a strike to tie. Glennis McKinley, Michael Kane, next string. For a strike, that'll do it. Four. Almost oh. stole it, almost stole it. It's coming back for the 10. It just missed. Oh my goodness a tough gracious. One pin loss, 116, 115. The hand of the bowling gods intervenes at the last possible. Both play a seven, a 143. 115 win with Blanca Chana. What a string by Keith Bopre. Michael Kane, tough luck loser. Missed that single pin for a spare in the sixth. Loses by one pin. What a finish. Mario Johnson, 116. Michael Kane, 115. Back to Greg. Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, so 28 pins on bonuses for Mario Johnson, 19 for Michael Kane. So the pinning, all those 10 boxes for Kane nearly salvaged it. And then almost got the 20 box. I mean, would it have been cosmic justice one way or another? He missed the head pin on that last one, but he had so accurate throughout. We got, we got Amanda Carroll coming up against Vinny next. And Glennis McKinley and Michael Kane will stay here again for another string. We cover each bowler twice, according to the format. 20 strings, 20, 20, 20 uh, strings combined. 10 men, 10 women, 10 strings. 10 string format. 10 for the men, 10 for the women. Three string finals head to head for the Battle of the Sexes, second annual. So Paul Grant, Greg Gouillard on Kenneth Bowl. Never got a bowl of Rama. Fortunately, New Hampshire is Greg Guya. Thank you, Paul. Let's try and figure these uh, standings out here. They've just come in. We got the raw data here, so we're trying to parse this that's all. But three games. That's through three games. Currently, Jeff LaPierre and Brooke Betteridge are the only two bowlers who went three for three in those games. And then let's run Surprise. down the list Amanda here. Carroll won the first of the 146, but lost to Bob Heap, 119, 117. She lost the third string, one and two so far. Mild upset there. Continue, Greg. All right. And then uh, everyone with two points. Now I'm going to need to look at this. Um, Peggy Donnelly, Will Damon, Mario Johnson, Glennis McKinley. And Mario just won here, so she has three now. How about that? Mike Kane, Alicia Cowley. Uh, sorry again about that 141. And uh, Vinny, our man Vinny, two points. All right, and we're going to see him next. As ball switched out, just waiting for other balls to finish up their string. They're in the last box. And we'll switch over here to lane, keep it here in lane 15 and 16. And string five of 10, halfway point of the qualifying round on Candle from Bowling Network. Please share, like, subscribe, Candle from Bowling Network. Candle Pitch for Cancer, qualifying rounds this Tuesday, 
in Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday at Riverwalk Lanes, Amesbury, Mass., downtown Amesbury. Please register Candlepins number four, cancer.com. Candlepins number four, cancer.com. The dates are Tuesday, January 24th, and Thursday, January 26th, both 11 a.m. Saturday, January 28th, 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Sunday, special time, January 29th, 1 p.m., 4 p.m., to the King of the River. It'll be 1 o'clock and 4 o'clock, $80 entry fee per ship. Register as many times as you'd like. Top five scheduled for here for Bolarama, March 12th, top five. Price fund based on number of applicants. Register candlepins number four, cancer.com. If you can't bowl, you can donate to the Bolus charity to help those suffering from cancer treatments. Candlepins number four, cancer.com. We'll start a fifth string in just a moment. String five just about underway. Just been putting some stuff in, folks, and we're, and we're going to get string number five out of ten of the qualifiers underway. Amanda Cal just beat Will Damon, so Amanda now is two and two now on the day so far. And Will Damon. go to two and two also. Folks, you see the names on your screen of our next two featured matchups in this 10 lane competition and 20 total bowler field. Michael Kane, Glennis McKinley, George Vinciguera, Amanda Carroll. Might as well repeat the format again. I figure you still could have some people trickling in. Got 10 men, 10 women. All the men bowl all the women over the course of the next 10 strings. One string matches each. And we're looking for the top three men and the top three women in terms of wins. Tie broken by total pinfall, tie broken by high single. And those top three will compete in one final three on three single string team matchup. This is the number one and number two seed, the Candle Prince for Cancer ladder series that was bowled last weekend at Scarborough, the Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. And Glennis, the number two seed, lost to Mario Johnson. Mandy Carroll won it over Mario Johnson in the final. So the top two seeds in that first ever Candle Prince of Cancer show are here head to head to start. So Bob Heap, who got a lemon drop in that first string, uh, put $5 of a donation for Candle Prince for Cancer. We saw three wild shirts, that's $30 to the charity also. So get your wild shirt, whatever you can, help improve your game also. Studies show you bowl better, and you feel better anyway, psychologically with the wild shirt on. The power recall, in the wow. I don't recall funding the studies, but anecdotally, there's just some power in the wow. Andy Carroll starting the fifth string. Four left, six, 10 right. Glennis McKenna, tremendous bowler. She was awesome last year. She bowled a high five or high 10 rather, 1,200, even 120 average. Let me drop Sue Holleran. Oh, what a shot that Oh, was. wow, what a shot from Amanda. It is, wow. 6-8-10, I think it was. 4-6-10, four, four, I think it was. Anyway, it's a spare. Couldn't see the uh, left pin from my angle. Glennis open. Glennis gives a 10 to start her fifth string. Glennis from Hudson, New Hampshire, average 109, high average for a season in a career, an eye popping 123. Amanda's high season total, 122. She's out of the Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. That's a tough house. On the bonus strike on spare, wow! 20 through one, 30 plus two through two. Glennis, nine, 10 pin left up. 72% success rate for Pro Bowl is not wood on single pins. All stats provided by Candlepin Bowling Network. I'll score slower this time so that the big scores don't explode the setup. <laughs> She's glad we lost that uh, match in the second string. Lennis for a spare, missed it. She wants the flux capacity to go back in time, back to the future. 
get that shot back. Flux capacitor is that one five eight nine leave. If you ask King of the Palace, I like that term. And won't it won't get it for nine. That's a reference to Back to the Future, Michael J. Fox. Amanda Carroll, a spare and a strike, starting the fifth on lane 16. One of the best female balls ever to lace them up from Maine. First ball on the strike. Thin hit in the head pins. Still going, eight. Seven, eight, Wood to help. Glennis, look at this leaf. Seven, eight, 10. Decent wood, not easy, but makeable. Yeah, a little tougher now. Not so easy now. Not that it was to begin with. Will she go through that double barrel wood for a spare and strike? Oh, oh only got one. Oh. Nine. Stumbled. Yeah, stumbled into the cap. I apologize. Nine in the strike, 39 through two. Glennis, good try. These up the NFL goalposts. 7 10. Amanda. Joinks it for a nine. 48 through three, strong start. Very fierce competitor. Glennis doinks it for an eight, 27. Going downhill, 10, nine, eight. Hopefully, spare strike for her now. She's up against Michael Kane. Oh, I'm sure it'll be a matter of time before she has to lift off. Love man to swing in motion, like, kind of like Justin Waters. Headpin again, thin hit. Tip. And she'll have the 7-10 goal post. Mm, I think that got worse for her, unfortunately. Just this pin splashing forward. There's a lot of wood there. I'm not sure it's all going to cooperate, but it's all strangely angled at the 7. Maybe just maybe the ball can power through to the 10. Angle pretty much the same way. Glennis Forsman, 1-2-4-7. Amanda for spare. Oh, she got it! Incredible shot. Wow! 58 to ball through 4. Glennis is open inside. That's the one four seven. Three marks and four, unreal. Forty-year-old Amanda Carroll, one eleven, average out of the Big Twenty in Scarborough, Maine. Recently threw a one fifty-two. Oh. Covered the last two matches. Once again, Shannon Scribner, a great match. You can watch it on Facebook, Kenneth Mullen Network. Glennis nine thirty-six through four. She has three main state records for high triple, high five, high ten. 454, 703, 1342. High single is 182. Richard with Scarborough, Maine. Crossing over, sweeps away the five, has the 610. Spare chance on the spare. 66 through four. That was a close one. That five pin was nearly standing, leaving that Dan Castle's least favorite. Now it's at a plank of wood. Come on, Amanda. For the spare, yes. bang! 76 half plus one. Glennis, 3-9-10, missed it. That gets applause, you all heard that. And he actually had another one. Glennis gets the 10. Good, Good penny, but no marks, 46 half. Up against Michael Kane. Amanda Carroll from Gray, Maine, 76 half plus one. And you can pronounce George's last name for me. <laughs> Mitch Aguera. Vince Aguilla. Vince G we'll call him Vinny. He won't mind that. He pulled decent that first string. He has a wobbling three right, five left. Oh. Oh. Vince Aguilla. That's right. Vince Aguilla. Michael Kane, bundle of six. Vinny for a spare. Missed it left. I needed the object pin there. The wood was too far back. Greg, right, the play by play. Thank you, Paul. Right on time to see Kane take a bit at this spare. Got sticks, but not the mark. Needed the head pin for it. Vince Aguilla, get, Vince Aguilla excuse me, gets 10. And Kane, likewise. <laughs> no, I'm all right. Gia. That's more proper. I almost wrote X and 10. That's redundant. X is the Roman numeral for 10. There is that Castle Eve. Vincigia didn't get it. K 
Kane, a Kaleri leave, one, two, four, seven, nine. Wood behind. Could it ramp the pins and send it back? Oh, it deflected the action all sideways and it doesn't go. Vinny gets 10 again. Kane, wayward, I'm afraid. That'll be eight. I made the mistake twice, apparently. I'd like to be able to put the X on the right-hand side, but I haven't quite figured out how to do that. So, dash 10 is what we get for the first frame. Vince Aguia fighting an uphill battle after Amanda Carroll plasters four smudges on the board. Or five if we're counting triangles. Kane gets a diamond. Three, five, six, nine. It's a Gia. Good shot. It's a spare. Perf Perfect through three. Kane, did he get this one? Back pin will carry, and he does get it. Two spares for the Gents. So Kane up one mark to none in his match against Glennis McKinley. Vince Aguia has got his mark. Still plenty more he'll require to catch Carroll. Reset will be required on 16. That did not happen by a ball. So Vinny got involved in bowling with a friend, told him about it. Back in 1976, bowling since then, just a regular house bowl. He's won many house tournaments. Enjoys four-wheeling and camping in his time off. Loves all sports, I mean, major sports. Bowls out of Academy Lanes, Haverhill, Mass. High single of 168, high triple of 372. His high average is 105 for a season right now, 98. Out of Stratton, New Hampshire, originally Lawrence, Mass. 60 years old. Four and a spare. 34 through three, another spare. Back to back. Try to chase Amanda Carroll, 76 plus one half. 44 in the ball through four. Michael Kane delivers on the goalpost. After a spare seven, 35 through three, 45 in the ball through four. A smile on his face. Takes the lead on Glennis McKinley. All right, two marks back to back, but you see the importance of filling them right here. Vince Aguilla got four, but Carroll's been got 27 at least so far. That's head pins, though. Oh, is he going to get a four on the head pin this time? My goodness. Back to back spare fours for Vinny, 48 through four. Not bad boy, but not an easy shot. I think Michael Kenny, if you, if you say I'll buy you a draft beer, I think he'd win every string. Yeah. <laughs> nice bid by Vinny. I'd bowl for beer. <laughs> I'd bowl for chocolate milk. Yeah, there's a scoring issue. I believe it's 46 and a ball through four, is it not? Let's see what they should. Should be 48, that's spare four. Yep, that's exactly what it is. So. And he gets a nine, 57 half. Down 19 plus a ball from Amanda Carroll. Michael Kane, a box behind now. Veteran bowler on lane 15, crossing over six. Woodling five and nine, four, seven left. Crossovers don't always leave Kings, especially when you got lively sidewall action that can really help you out with that, but no such luck for Kane. Six on the drop. From the hot Massachusetts, 119 is season high, 112 right now. High single 183, he'll be open. High triple 442. One uh, former Nahant Roloff many years ago, and he's 18 years old. Once upon a time, he'll get a nine. 61 half. He's up five, 15. 61 46. Glenn's McKinley, along with Greg Guya, Paul Grant, live on Kenneth and Bowling Network. Second annual Battle of the Sexes, qualifying round five of ten, followed by three on three team finals. For bragging rights, battle of the sexes. Yep, so the two spares tell the story in the Kane McKinley match, simple as that. And not much more needs to be said than just looking at the score sheet for Carol and Vince Aguera. Mida, Mida should have had five in a row. 76 in the ball in lane 16. Has a post, 81 half. Glennis in the pocket. Gets the right side to go, will it? No. A wiggling two, a wiggling six, plus the four. Amanda, beautiful shot, oh, what a try. The seven shook it up, but holds on, plus the 10. Glennis trying to kick it over. Oh, she swept it through, the illegal block in the back for a spare, on the board. 56 in the ball through six. 
She was two marks behind Michael Kane. Down 15. Mandarin 9, 90 through 6 in the fifth of 10. McKinley will probably require one mark atop that, though. Don't take that for granted. Pending matters, too, and it could tip the balance. Amanda half whistle left. She has the main state record. Doubles with Brooke Betteridge, 25-09. Glennis, 9 on the spare. Nine pin left up. Right back in it. Thank you very much for that corner. 65 through 6, Amanda. One in five chance to convert. Leaves up five. Oops. Now that wood in the way for Glennish can kick through it. Got it! Back to back. Powers through it. 75 and a ball through seven. Amanda, nice out. Just seven, though, on the object pin. 97 through seven. Comfortable lead, 24 at the half over Vinny. George Vincegia, Vinny. Amanda takes her time trying to reset after a blistering 81 half on nine of the seven since. Swinging those arms in rhythm. In the pocket for a strike, she's got it! Second strike of the string, 107 plus two in the eighth. Whether well, it was a collection of her thoughts or Mario Johnson going on her rise, she took that moment and made the most of it. Glenn has 3 6 10 on the spare, 82 through 7 for three in a row. Won't go, a little too thin. The 6 and 10 shake up. Wanted that one, a little more inside would have gone. Gets the 10, 92 through 8. She's back in it though. Two big fills, one more to keep the pressure on Michael Kane. Amanda working a strike. First ball on the nose, 3 1 split. Glennis in the pocket, beautiful shot. Nine, 10, strike! Three marks in four boxes. 102 plus two through nine. She had three strikes in the women's doubles event, winning it with Deb DeRosia, five in the two-string final. Watch that thrilling match on Canopin Bowling Network. She was awesome. Oh, what a try by Amanda. He's up to seven. Sometimes you get that sidewall kick to go the other way. Nice nine drop, though. Glennis coming up big time here. Second half of the fifth string. Amanda, who needs the wood? Ten. 126 to nine. She had a 146 in the first. A 146 in the final last year. To me, if you go by the old format, Bobby Riggs, Billie Jean King, she won Battle of the Sexes last year. But it was a team format, so her team lost by seven. Only three. Glennis, first one on the strike, eight. Got help on the wall, big time. Wiggling two in the four, wood to help. Working a strike, Amanda, good try. Kick it the seven to go. Very good sticks on that second ball. Open second, well she had a strike actually. Glenda, another spare on strike. What a half. 112 through nine, 122 and a ball in the 10th. After a 46 half. Amanda at 10, 135. Well she had a 10 last time. Glennis on the spare, four, 126. Yeah, that was a 10 box the ninth. Yeah, so she's a 136, Amanda. Yeah, Glennis McKinley, a, a strong half. A 80 half of Glennis McKinley. Amanda had 81 first half. Amanda 136, Glennis 126. Michael Kane is up 15 right now. He needs a 67 half to win. Two marks at least. And Vinny's got his work cut out too. He needs a monster half. He needs a 75 half. Michael four in the 10. Vinny's open. Craig, here's the update now through the only one to win four strings 
to the first four. Jeff Lapierre, defending champ. Burke is three and one, as Mario and Glennis, three and one, and Alicia Kelly. The lady is doing very well. Michael Kane is fair. 71 of the ball through six. Vinny a nine, 66 through six. Michael, spread eagle on the spare, four. 75 through six. He's up 10 right now, but up against a hurricane from Glennis McKinley. Jason Sparks has two and a half points. And two points for Will Damon. Finney, Shannon Scribner, Keith Beaupre, Amanda Carroll, and Bob Heap. One and a half points for Blanca Chana. She should have three and a half points the way she's bowling. Yeah, Kane never got the back, never recovered from that spread eagle, I'm afraid, so that'll be five. Tough five, 80 through seven. Finney at eight, 74 through seven. So Vinsky is now already in the miracle zone. He just needs to do something more tremendous than what Amanda did to come back in this now. And Kane uh, could do it with a couple of marks. It's difficult, but more doable in his case. He needs 47 in three boxes. Strong finish by Glennis McKinley. Again, big when it counts. Kane crossing over, look at this. That's a shot Amanda had in that first string, got her a five box to lose 119, 117 to Bob Heap. Four horsemen for Vinny. One, two, four, seven. Kane, tough leave here. Vinny's open. Amanda Carroll win the string. She'll go to three and two. Michael Kane, that's good. That'll be an eight. Nice out. 88 through eight. Down four. Put up against a strike and a spare four. So he needs 29, 39, 39 in two boxes to win. Vinny and eight, 84 through eight. Cannot catch Amanda Carroll. Michael needs two big marks with big fills. He's got the five right, four, seven left, not easy. Vinny, good shot, leads up to 7-10. Michael needs us to avoid double strike territory in the 10th. Vinny, nice shot, won't go, valiant effort. Nine, 93 through nine. Michael needs this, got it! Big shot, still has a chance. That doesn't go too often. The Castle shot from Dan Castle at both him and Millis with Rick Kamrowski for years. That's right, oftentimes that wood isn't gonna cooperate on the leave like that, but it did here. 98 in the ball through nine. Kane requires another, a strike would be the easiest way. Spread eagle plus the nine for Vinny. Try and get at least 100. Michael needs a big fill. Not gonna be easy, three, ouch. Uh, and that'll do it. That's killer, yep. Glennis McKinley will win the string. A brilliant performance in 80. Second half, 126, she'll hang on to defeat Michael Kane, who leads up five. Vinny, one for 100, gets it with an eight, make it nine. Not a bad string, 102, but Amanda Carroll, 136, Vinny 102, Michael Kane 8, 109, Glennis McKinley come from behind victory, down 15 to the half, wins it by 17, 126 to 109, Glennis McKinley goes to 4-1 of the day, and Michael Kane will drop the 2-3. and three. Vinny with that loss will go to two and three. Oh. So Paul, this is the five string break. So I will uh, cut the stream here and we'll bring it right back up uh, right. in just right. a moment. Sounds we'll good. see you for round six through 10. 
Following, then following a three on three final match. Paul Grant, Greg, who you have for now on Camp Bowling Network. Thank you for watching this great game of Camp and Bowling.